Alright, what's up guys? It's Kim from Make Films here, and um, I am doing new something new. I'm not sure if I'm going to continue with gold. I might put that on pause for now. Um, and I might do this instead. So, um, we are playing Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. And if you look on the internet, there aren't really that many um, Gale of Darkness, Darkness X. What am I talking about? X Gale of Darkness XD play? What? No. Let's play uh, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness. You can't really... There aren't too many of them. I mean, there are some, but I just find that this would be not a... Oh, wow, I'm getting into the thing here. But, um... Spoilers! Um... But, yeah, let's just get into this. I've been playing... Oh, my God, it's a... It's a the wires. It's a, ta it's a giant tangle. I'm gonna, like, post on my Facebook page. Like, a giant tangle my headset's in. But, like, um... Let's just start up a new game. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm not any of those names, so I am going to choose... You are. All right, done. Kim. Let me shoot for this cutscene. Well, somebody looks screwed. But, um, so it looks like we start off with a freaking Salamance! Yeah, buddy! Um, let me start off with a nice quick here. So, I think this is the first Pokemon. No, I think Pokemon's Coliseum you started off in Pokemon Battle. I'm not sure about that, but, um, if you couldn't tell, Pokemon XD is the sequel to Pokemon Coliseum, I'm pretty sure. Um, anyways, so, um, but. Other than that, I think this is the first one you start off in the battle on. But we just own that Metagross. Sim Trainer lost him. What is this, The Sims? Oh my god, what's happening? Alright Cameron, that will, this will do for today. Whoa, what just happened? I was in like, magical land. Yes, sir, that was a well-played battle. Cameron, your battle skills have improved by an amazing amount. I mean, it was impressive with the way you handled that big Pokemon with a bomb. You took it command as if it was the same as your Eevee. Don't you think it's time you consider raising other Pokemon besides your Eevee? Well, if we look at our Pokemon, we have our Eevee, which is... Bold Nature, and we got it from our dad. And... I'll get into this more later, but there's kind of some backstory with your dad. And it kind of leads back into that concept of Pokemon Coliseum and everything. Because think about this. You start off with an Eevee in this game. In Pokemon Coliseum, uh, you start off with an Umbreon and an Espeon. The, the Espeon's a female and uh, Umbreon's a male. Just kind of think about that. Haha, <laughs> we don't need to be that uh, official, Lily. But... <coughs> Sorry about my bad cough. Um, oh yes, I've heard the battle coach uh, singing high praise about you, Cameron. I've heard that your battling skills have dramatically recently. That's upstanding, Cameron. But I don't, sure don't think I'd stand much of a chance against you. I wish everyone wouldn't drown themselves with, with such gushing bra oh my god, praise all the time. My son and daughter will become spoiled rotten. There's nothing to worry about. Both Cameron and Joey are wonderful kids. By the way, I don't think I've seen Joey since lunch lunchtime. Cameron, I hate to bother you, but could you go find Joey for me? Uh, Cameron, I think you already know, but there's several research projects in the critical phases of this lab. That's why your mother can't afford to take any time off... Uh, this instance. So please, honey, will you go find Joey? Sure. Thank you. I'm counting on you. I don't think she could have wandered off too far. But just in that case, check outside too. I'm sorry, Cameron. After five long years, this project is finally on the verge of coming together. But that to happen, we can't do it without your mother's expertise. Oh yes, I left a PDA in your room, Cameron. Go check it out. The PDA stands for Pokemon Digital Assistant. It's a very useful electronic tool. A PDA can be used for email among other things. I'm sure you'll find as many features useful. It's quite easy to use, Cameron, so I'm sure you'll have no trouble figuring it out. Alright, so, um... And yeah, one thing I kind of want to talk about here is, um, I'm going down into Killington, Vermont, um, this, like, leaving tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I'm going into Lake Placid, which is in New York, I'm pretty sure, 
Um, Cameron, have you seen Joey? We were playing hide and seek. Joey's gone, been gone for a while now. Maybe she's playing in your room, Cameron. Um, but yeah, I'm probably gonna be uploading these along the time of um, of the time I'm gone. So you'll probably see these episodes out like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cause I'm on March break right now, so. Um, well, here in Canada we call it March break, but uh, but it's Cameron's room. But lately, his sis kid sister appears to have run the place. Um, and there's something twinkling. Like yeah, there's something on the desk. It's kind of hard to explain. Something in the in the yeah. There's your controller vibrates when that happens. But uh, I don't care about that. It's just him telling. Oh, you must have read this PDA. Not this PDA. But um, I'm going away to Lake Placid. If there's Wi-Fi there, um, then I'm definitely going to be uploading videos. If there isn't, then um. Then I'll probably start uploading these next week, which would be the week of... Well, like, right now it's the 12th, so we need to check the date. So yeah, it's probably be uploaded on the 19th, if they don't have Wi-Fi there, because that's when I get back. Why am I going back here? Um, I'm supposed to go in here. ONBS. You bring you ONBS news. Authorities still have failed to find any traces of the cargo ship SS Liberus since its sudden disappearance off the coast of Gate and Port. There must have been no ports of floatsome that may indicate the ship's sinking. The authorities appeared mystified on the way the ship vanished like smoke. The reports are on numerous Pokemon were on board. Concern is rising over their we uh, welfare. That was like the cutscene we saw at the beginning. That, if you looked at the name, that, uh, boat's name is the SS Libra. I'm just kind of done. Mm -hmm. um. I forget what I need to do here. <laughs> I've played through this game like five times. 100%ed it like three times, and I forget what to do here. Holy shit. I'm freaking smart. Uh, I'm pretty sure I go back to Lily. Like Lily. So, Joey's been so random. Uh, she's been to girls. Uh, uh, I don't want to think she's wandered off too far. Please find her, human. Um. Jesus Christ, I forget where. She is. Well, I know where she is, I just forget who we need to talk to. Um, do we go outside, or...? Pretty sure we do. And... No, it's definitely not here. Um, I feel like a retard right now. I'm move this away from my face so it's kind of quieter for you guys. Um... Actually, no, I'm just gonna turn down the, um... Um... Alright, I'm gonna pause, like, I'm probably gonna just cut this out here, um, so that way you guys don't have to deal with me just wandering about and talking to, like, every other person. Right, you startled me! Oh, hi, it's you, Cameron, it's me, Aiden. You're looking for Jovi? We were supposed to be hiding, but she isn't- oh, maybe she's gone off to talk to Kaminko's man. It's a big, weird house southeast from here. Jovi's it in our game of hide and seek. I wish she'd find me soon. My back is starting to hurt. Alright. And let's head over there. Yeah, and I kinda like the effect that it did with the Pokemon over there. Uh, on the roof it kinda just like fades in and out and goes up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cute. This place doesn't look creepy. For some reason, this place has always reminded me of Luigi's Mansion. I don't know why it just always does. Wait, who goes there? Oh my god, it's like it's some little eight-year-old with blue hair. You must be a burglar. Chobin will put you straight. Don't you move. Chobin is the name, and Chobin is the number assistant to Dr. Kimiko. No, Chobin is the only assistant, so Chobin has to be the number one assistant. So this is our first actual Pokemon battle with our Pokemon instead of just some fake battle. And he sends out his Sunken. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry guys about that. But um, yeah we start off with the Eevee which is level 10, which moves Tackle, Tail Whip, Bite, and Sand Attack. We're gonna move these, you know, use Tackle and Bite there at least just to... But um, yeah, our Eevee's pretty strong. Um. So we just owned that sunken in our first battle. Now this is probably one of the very few single battles you're going to be seeing in this game. Because like in Pokemon Coliseum, every, pretty much every battle is a double battle. Yeah. 
You made Chauvin angry now, but you're not. Even though Chauvin lost, you're still not gonna pass Chauvin. Huh? Closer observation reveals the subject is a child. We know that the child is, is not a burglar. Aha, Chauvin wishes she spoke up right away. You can? Chauvin apologizes for jumping to the wrong conclusion. Oh, Big Brother, what are you doing here? Oh, Jovi gets it. Big Brother, you got lost too, didn't No, not really. Uh uh uh. There's no hiding stuff from Jovi because Jovi knows. This is this big house is Dr. Kamenko's. Dr. Kamenko's job is to make it make incredible inventions. My head's got to be weird. There's a whole bunch of neat machines like they have at the Pokemon HQ lab. You should come in too, Big Brother. Okay. Cameron, are you that girl's older brother? Sometimes she comes here. She wanders around everywhere. Chauvin finds it hard to keep an eye on her so that she does not bother the doctor. Oh yes, Cameron. We have a look at Dr. Kamenko's invention. You will? Okay, this way please. Follow Chauvin. Kids like to fuck in the third person in this game. Keep chopping will now show you the missions in the thing. Uh, yeah, this is annoying. Yep. You just that's Dr. Kamiko. Hi, Doctor. What kind of thing machine are you making this time? Chubbin wants to know. Uh oh, that girl's at Dr. Kamiko's side again. Chubbin hopes she's causing no disturbance. Anyways, let Chauvin acquaint you with just some of Dr. Kamiko's latest inventions. Let the VZR roll! Alright, yeah, this is just, like, retarded. Aha! Incredible, is it not? There's much more to do learn than that. The Doctor's inventions, which is our fantastic, can be seen on this monitor. Chauvin gives you permission to use this anytime you like. And let's go talk to... Hmm? Incidentally, child, how long have you been here? Hmm? 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 Hi, brother, this is a funny drawing. It's a really detailed drawing of a weird, really weird machine. Huh? Are you going home already, big brother? But you just got here. Oh, it gets it. Joey has to show you how to get home, right? Okay, that's what Joey will do. Joey will take you home. Mimi, let's go go home with big brother. And I guess that mine in his name is Mimi. Yeah. Join the party! Okay, let's move it. Um, yeah, we will visit again, Doctor. Bye bye. Um, in this game, um, well, Pokemon Coliseum was the first. This game was one of the first where you can have um, people in your party with like um, so they'd follow you around. Uh, this was one of the first. Then came Diamond and Pearl, I'm pretty sure. Um, and then Black and White. But yeah, dear Cameron, you appear to have traveled far in your search for Joey. Please come back to the HQ lab as soon as you find her. I need your help soon. That is a big foreshadow to something we better do. What is it? What is it? An email from the professor? He wants to come, come home quickly. Joey's worried about letting you go by yourself, big brother. So Joey will go home too. Let's go right now. Anyways, yeah. I, she talks in third person. I don't think she ever says the word I in, in this game, like, ever. She always says Joey. It's, she's, yeah, it's, it's a weird concept. I don't know why Nintendo did that, but they did. And here's our mom. Oh, hi, Mommy, we're back. Oh, Joey, I heard, I told you not to worry about yourself. No, Mommy, you didn't. You don't understand, Big Brother was lost, so Joey brought him here. If Joey weren't there, Joey bet he'd be crying right by now saying he can't go home. Right, Big Brother? Oh, my, my, my. You are such a brave and resourceful girl. But that is quite enough for today. Besides, Adam must be tired of waiting for you. Oh my gosh, was, I was in the middle of hide and seek. Okay, big brother, I'll see you later. Bye bye. And she runs away. Cameron, thanks for finding Joey for me. Oh, yes, Professor Crane wanted to see you, Cameron. Go see him right away, please. I'm just gonna check out my recording here. Alright, still doing fine. Um. But yes. Um, and I just realized the audio is out of sync, so. Um, Alright, yeah, so now we need to go see Professor Crane. Woo. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but the audio is like 30 seconds out of sync. So I'll probably just fix that when I, um, cut out the part where I'm, like, st stuck searching for Joey. Okay, I'm welcome back. Were you gone far away? Huh, the director? You just went downstairs a little while ago. Professor Crane did. You didn't bump into him? Alright, so let's go back downstairs. Now, why did I just take that door? I could have just taken the elevator, but oh well. It's actually faster this way. Well, not this way, but the other way. Because that room we need to be in. 
main entrance room, yeah. This room, like yeah. Hi there, Cameron. I've been waiting for you. I want to show you the snag machine. Has Aiden said anything to you about the snag machine? Uh, I'm just gonna say yes, cause that way he doesn't explain it. Oh, I see. Yes, we've named the well, we've named the special machine for catching Pokemon the snag machine. The two of us, Aiden and I, were developing it. Now it's finally finished. I'd like you to begin testing it immediately, Cameron. Will you help us? Yeah. Okay, step inside, please. I should tell you, the snag machine is an outrageous piece of work. After all, it's used in stealing Pokemon from other trainers in battle. But we didn't use this to steal Pokemon in indiscriminately from trainers. Cameron, you've heard of Shadow Pokemon, haven't you? They're, they're Pokemon that have been turned into fighting machines after their hearts closed to artificial means. They're to be pitied. And we developed the snag machine to take back such a modified Shadow Pokemon. Why this machine is needed for now, I can explain later. But for now, I'd like you to test our snag machine. After all, you're the best trainer at Slab. I have a level 10 Eevee! I have a level 10 Eevee. How am I the best trainer at this lab? The snag machine is inside this case. Try equipping it right away, please. Well, I think we're going to save that for the next episode. So yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, it'd be nice for a like. That'd help. Um, and, oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, but if you'd leave it a like, that'd help me out a lot. And maybe even a favorite if you really enjoyed it. Maybe try and spread this with your friends. Clicking that share button below. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.